Okay, uh, this part of the video, uh, we want to show the solution or the roots for the quadratic equation that we used to solve uh, to show the nature of the roots in the discriminant. And we have for example, and we want to show in this video, uh, what are the roots of those for example. And also to show the that the discriminant and nature of the root uh, as stated in the discriminant uh, were correct so okay let us proceed to number one problem so first step we need to identify the value of a b and c so the value of a b and c in example number one is one negative six and nine so second step we need to substitute the those values to quadratic formula negative 6 plus or minus square root of negative 6 square minus 4 times 1 times 9 all over 2 times 1 then we perform the operation uh, given in the quadratic formula so negative times negative is positive 6 plus or minus square root of negative 6 square is 36 minus 4 times 1 times 9 is negative 36 so here we easily identify or oh, we notice that uh, 36 minus 36 is equal to 0. So now our answer is 6 over 2. And we simplify the 6 over 2. So we have uh, the value of x is equal to 3. Now based on the discriminant, uh, this example is real, rational, and equal. So it means based on the given roots, uh, we solve the roots, the value of x is 3. So real numbers, rational and equal because 3 only is the solution for this problem. Is real, rational and equal are, cor are correct based on our solution using quadratic formula. So let us proceed to problem number 2. So again... We need to identify the value of a, b, and c. So the value of a, b, and c here is 1, negative 4, and 3. And second step, we need to substitute, substitute those values to quadratic formula. So we have now negative quantity negative 4 plus or minus square root of negative 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 3 all over 2 times 1. Then next step, we need to perform the operation based on the quadratic formula. So we have 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 12. 4 because negative times negative is positive 4. And negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. And negative, uh, and negative 4 times 1 times 3 is negative 12. Over 2. Then now, so... As you can see, we have 16 minus 12 inside the square root. So, we have 4 plus or minus square root of 4. And now, we know that square root of 4 is 2. So, we have now 4 plus 2 all over 2 and 4 minus 2 over 2. We perform the operation. Now, we simplify. We have x is equal to 3 because 4 plus 2 is 6 over 2 is 3. And the other root is the value of the other value of x is 4 minus 2 is 2 over 2 is equals to 1. So it means based on the discriminant, this problem will be real, rational, and unequal. So real numbers, rational, and unequal because the, the given or the solved roots are 3 and 1, not equal. So unequal. So okay. Let us proceed to problem number 3. x squared minus 7x minus 4 is equal to 0. And first, we need to identify the value of a, b, and c. And the value of a, b, and c is 1, negative 7, and negative 4. So, we need to substitute to quadratic formula those values. And we have now negatives times negative 7 plus or minus square root of negative 7 square minus 4 times 1 times negative 4 over 2 times 1. Then we will proceed to perform the operation in the quadratic formula. So we have 7 
plus or minus square root of 49 since 7, negative 7 times negative 7 is 49 and negative 4 times negative 4 times 1 is positive 16. And when we simplify the numbers inside the square root, we have 7 plus or minus square root of 65 all over 2. And we have square root of 65. It means 65, there's no uh, exact number or real numbers as the root of 65. And we separate the plus or minus. So we have two roots, the, flat, the 7, the 7 plus square root of 65 over 2, and x is equal to 7 minus square root of 65 over 2. We have now the two roots, and based on the discriminant and nature of the roots, in this problem is real, so real, irrational, irrational, since we have uh, square root of 65, and unequal. So unequal because the first root is positive, or 7 plus square root of 65, and the second root is 7 minus square root of 65 all over 2. So based on the statement of discriminant, the that real irrational and unequal are uh, proven in these uh, roots. Next, <clears throat> let us proceed to number 4 problem 2x squared plus 3x plus 5 equals to 0 so again we need to identify the, the value of a b and c and after that we will proceed to uh, substituting the value of a b and c to the quadratic formula so we have now negative 3 is plus or minus square root of 3 square minus 4 times 2 times 5 over 2 times 2 then we have negative 3 plus or minus 9 minus 4 times 2 times 5 is 40. And as, as you can see, we have the square root of 9 minus 40. And the answer must be negative 31. We have negative 3 plus or minus square root of negative 31 over 4. Based on our answer uh, and the statement given in the discriminant and the nature of the root, that this uh, problem is non-real and imaginary. It's because we have the square root, uh, the number inside the square root is negative, which is negative 31, and imaginary. So based on the statement in the discriminant, the roots for this problem are negative 3 plus square root of negative 31, which is imaginary, all over 4, and negative 3 minus square root of negative 31 over 4. We can also write this uh, answer or root, uh, negative 3 plus square root of 31 imaginary. The symbol for imaginary is I. So that's all. Uh, we only show these roots of this uh, four example or four quadratic and to to prove that the statement in the discriminant and uh, nature of the root are proven and uh, were correct. So we can now easily identify the, the quadratic equation uh, whether the roots are real rational equal, uh, real rational unequal, real irrational unequal, and non-real imaginary. So we can easily uh, notice that the when we solving the quadratic equation whether uh, the roots will be irrational imaginary or uh, rational so that's all thank you